Hello, beautiful friends. It's Erica here to do the weekly energy forecast for December 16th through the 22nd. And we're going to be taking a look at the overall themes coming in this week. And we do have a big event happening, which is the solstice. And the overwhelming majority of my viewers happen to live in countries that are experiencing the winter solstice. But we do have some of you in the southern hemisphere that will be experiencing the um, summer solstice. So um, nonetheless, this is a, the solstice often becomes a celebration of light whether you are entering into the days getting shorter or entering into the days getting longer. Keep an eye on the channel because I'm going to be doing a reading about the solstice um, specifically. But let's just pull the themes for the overall week here. And then we're going to look at the divine masculine energies and the divine feminine energies as well. So um, also do go check out the eclipse reading that I just posted, which is happening on December 26th, which is next week. And this happens to be one that is going to be full of beautiful and unexpected surprises, things that start us on a new path. So if you're interested in understanding that particular eclipse, do go check that out. It happens on the new moon in Capricorn. All right, so let's get started here and pull some themes. Okay, so this week we're getting emergence creation, resurrection, and the magician. Now, we obviously um, experienced the 12-12 portal last week along with the full moon, but the effects of this are um, going to be felt through the solstice. So when we're getting the emergence card, and it is an 11 card, this is about coming out of the transformation and it's about creating and the magic that comes from the transformation um, we did go through this massive portal which allowed us to complete and to move into a new energy so this makes complete sense for the week following that um, let's get the other two cards and we'll go from there and we're getting worthiness coming up and one more I'll pull and then I'll speak more to this You are the universe. Beautiful. All right. So what I'm feeling really strongly here is a message where this week you're going to be moving into the collective is moving into an energy of bringing forth and creating new lives based on this true understanding and knowing of your own worthiness. This is where the collective is really moving from being beaten down, being uh, conditioned, being living in fear. Um, you don't deserve that. You're not meant to have more than you do. Don't be greedy. Like there's all this energy that has tried to keep the collective down. And we do have this message of worthiness, which is understanding that we are the universe. We are light. And because of that, if we're living anything other than from our light and from our worthiness, then we are beginning to emerge into that knowing that situations, circumstances, things that we're doing in our lives that make us feel like we can't have what we believe we want to have. We can't have the abundance. We can't have the love. We can't have this because, you know, don't wish too much. You know, that's all for fairy tales. <laughs> that's not possible. What are you talking about? You're crazy. Um, again, check out the, the eclipse reading because that is the influence of Jupiter happening, which is all about luck, abundance, and wisdom. And that's in and Jupiter's influence on that eclipse next week. So this is a beautiful message coming in here. So I'm going to pull an overall card for the energies of the divine masculine this week. And remember this, you will have messages from both um, sides because you embody both masculine and feminine energies. And so these will be two different sides of yourself. So let's take a look at the energies of the divine masculine this week. Oh, we're getting the divine feminine and dating coming out. So here you go, guys. Um, you know, that portal that we experienced was truly a 
a massive opportunity and a massive coming together of sacred unions. And so when I'm seeing dating and the divine feminine coming in here and we're getting creation, resurrection and magician, this to me shows that the divine masculine energies are courting the divine feminine. They are seeking the divine feminine. They are aware of the divine feminine's role in their experience. They are ready to honor her. They're ready to show her that they are worthy of the sacred feminine, that they have moved from and out of their distortion and into embodying the divine masculine. So to me, this is again, front and center for the divine masculine is the divine feminine. So let's see for the divine feminine, what her overall energy is for this week. And she's getting life purpose. And again, this is a message around, look at what's happening in this card. See how she heard the light is radiating out of her heart and out into the world around her. This week, Divine Feminine, you are staying steady. You are staying strong on your life's purpose, living from an open-hearted energy and shining your light. No longer are you dimming your light. You are emerge, emerging into, if you haven't already done so, you're moving into your life's purpose in a much bigger way. Now, it's going to be different for all of you into what form this takes, but at the end of the day, you are here for a reason. You are here for an important reason. And this is where many of the divine feminines have already awoken to what this is, or certainly are on the way to um, uncovering what that is for them. And I'm going to pull a second card here for the divine feminine. Why not? And we're getting connection. So this, re this relates to the divine feminine's role is to be open hearted in all of her connections. But when it's coming, which is relationships with family, with friends, with people in general. But when it's coming in with this particular card, with the connection, this is intimate connection. This is making the effort in a specific relationship. And the divine feminine, it's like she's finally able to show what she's been doing behind the scenes relating to her purpose and the divine masculine. Now, many feminines do have a life purpose separate from simply being in sacred union with the masculine. It's more than that. But right here, what she's doing is she's holding the light in her heart to radiate outward to everybody. And I'm actually just going to pull an overall card for the, the dynamic between the two this week. I'm going to go a lot more in depth into the dynamic between the two of them in the extended as I always do. But I just feel like pulling one overall theme for the dynamic between the two this week. This one wants to come out. And we're getting soulmates. Oh my. Guys, and then this card, it's, it's two butterflies. They're vibrant but they've just come out of the chrysalis. So they've just transformed into the, the powerful beings that they are. And this card has been coming out recently here over the last couple of weeks in particular to really emphasize the fact that both the masculine and the feminine are merging and coming together in the physical plane. You know, they've been on their own separate growth journeys, very painful journeys, mind you. The transformation from a caterpillar to a butterfly is not easy peasy. It's not a breeze. But here they are emerging. And what they're doing is they're holding their hands. You probably can't see it on the camera. Um, but they're holding their hands together and out from their connected hands, their union is flowing all of this light, all of this heart energy, all of these stars. So um, this is powerful, guys. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at what the focus is for the Divine Masculine this week. Okay, that's four cards, but I'm going to take them and show you them, but I'm going to put them back in. But basically, the focus for the Divine Masculine this week is bringing, karma, bringing justice back to the situation with the feminine. This is the spiritual connection between the two of them. This can be also making things right on a spiritual level with the Divine Feminine. This may mean whatever it means for you, how to make it right. But, you know, moving from being the nine, which is alone and single and, and 
and a little stressed out about this situation to actually bringing justice to it. So I'm going to put these cards back in and see if they come back out again. But that's a message that clearly wanted to come out. Oh my gosh. And so did these. So what are these? All right. So the Ace of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and the Page of Swords. So, all right. The Divine Masculine clearly <laughs> has a lot to say this week. So he's, again, wanting to bring the justice, make it right with the Divine Feminine. But he his focus this week is this new beginning in love with his Divine Feminine, with an open heart, where he may be communicating something this week um, with this Page of Swords. And for some of them, though, it may be where they're still staying at a distance, still, still observing the Divine Feminine. And... Um, trying to understand, like trying to figure out a way in, it feels like, and we're going to get more cards to understand this, but um, let's see what the focus is for the Divine Feminine this week. And we're getting the Ten of Wands, so this is where she is, um, she's done carrying the burdens here this week. Because there's swift action and communication that she's been waiting for here. So there's truth. There's victory. She wants to let go of the burdens she's been carrying. And at the end of the day, she's been waiting for this. So something really big certainly could be transpiring this week. But even if it doesn't happen this week, guys, remember that I tune into the energies and sometimes um, it can take a while for the manifest, physical manifestation to trickle down. And it's going to be different for all of you because clearly this is a general reading. But um, let's take a look at what um, is going on in the outer world for the Divine Masculine. And what is observable about the Divine Masculine in his outer world? We get the Page of Wands, the Four of Swords, and the Seven of Swords. So there is more communication here about... Um, This is news. The Page of Wands is exciting news. And when I'm getting this Four of Swords with the Seven of Swords together, I'm getting two different messages. For some of the masculines, they're ready to heal the situation where things weren't totally out in the open with the Divine Feminine, ready to communicate and explain and speak truth that he hopes will heal the situation with her. And for others of you, this could be where... The masculine is taking a bit of it, has just received some news or communicated some news or will be communicating some news this week where um, he's been in a situation that he needs to take a little break from, heal from, you know, uh, take a little, take a little nap from the, after possibly leaving another relationship here after some sadness where there was some deception. So and it could be both. It could be both scenarios. It could be leaving one toxic situation, one um, situation where things weren't aligned and ultimately were are complete. And he may be just taking a little pause this week in his outer world. Let's see what's going on in his inner world, though, meaning his emotions and his feelings and his thoughts. What's going on in the masculine's inner world this week? We have the Hierophant, the Justice card again, and the Knight of Cups. Wow, okay. So clearly the Hierophant and Justice, that's spiritual justice. That is bringing balance into a situation that was out of balance before with the Divine Feminine. So in his inner world, he is absolutely wanting to move his connection and his physical um, presence and outward relationship with the divine feminine into a more committed place like let's do this i want to bring you my heart i want to bring you my offer so in his heart he absolutely is on this track specific to bringing this to the divine feminine so let's see what's going on in the in the divine feminine's world here what is going on in her what is going on in her outer world this week and like I said, guys, in the extended, I'm going to be looking specifically at the dynamic between the two of them, what's shifting, what's supporting, what's challenging the dynamic, what shadow aspects could be coming up for them, how they're relating to their dynamic this week, 
as well as guidance, but um, that will be in the extended. But let's keep going here for the Divine Feminine. What is going on in her outer world this week? We have the Page of Cups. Lots of communication happening here. The Page of Cups, the Moon, and the Seven of Wands. So set, well, she's getting two sevens here already, which is an energy of spirituality, spiritual growth. And in her outer world here, there is communication of emotions. It could be the masculine coming towards her to communicate um, how he's feeling. He might be coming forward with an apology. Um, and, or she can just, it's like she knows intuitively that this is happening, but it could be revealing some things. Um, there could be some things revealed that maybe weren't shown before. And that's the same message that was coming through here for the masculine, revealing something that wasn't the whole story. That feels like that could be coming in in the communication. And it's like she's um, standing her ground here. And what I'm, what I'm hearing is for some of the divine feminines, there could be some sort of communication that... Um, comes through where it's like she's trusted she can trust her intuition and she's defeating her fears but let me see why the seven of wands is here and the sun all right so she is absolutely standing her ground for happiness the sun represents the divine masculine energy and we're getting both the moon and the sun here and so this could be that in this communication with the, with the divine masculine, that he might be a little, a little bit guarded, but she's being asked to trust her intuition. But to me, it feels more like she's stood her ground and the masculine um, is here to prove her right. Let's see what's going on in her inner world this week. Oh, we have the Empress. We have the Eight of Swords. And we have the Four of Wands. So it feels like in her inner world this week, there's something where there's a shift in her energy where she has felt trapped and stuck and not and helpless and not able to do anything, but that's changing. That is moving out. That is no longer because something, because it feels like this communication that's coming in and the, the masculine coming towards her that she's suddenly, it's like, okay, now it's here because she knew that she was stuck and not able to do anything because it wasn't her, like, sh it wasn't hers to do. This was imperative for the Divine Masculine, but she's getting a payoff here and abundance and celebration and a manifestation in her inner world. And so it's like she's feeling, it's like she's feeling vindicated in certain ways this week in her inner world of like, see, like I stood my ground. I knew in my heart what this was. I dealt with people coming at me, telling me I was wrong. And at the end of the day, here it is. And so that's coming across very strongly. So let's see what's um, shifting this week for the Divine Masculine. What What is shifting during this week for the Divine Masculine energies? We have the Eight of Cups, we have the Ace of Pentacles, and we have the King of Pentacles. Well, so here's that new beginning. Here is the gift being offered from the universe for a brand new start in the physical plane. And here he is ready to do this. He's matured. He's not the knight. He's not, you know, he's not the page. He's the king. And so for the masculine, certainly they could be walking away from something that's closed out to start this new beginning where it's going to be very successful. And if they're not leaving something behind, it's, it, it could be leaving a relationship behind, but certainly could simply be leaving a chapter of their life behind 
where they're ready for the new beginning. They're ready for the new start. And let's see what's shifting for the Divine Feminine this week. Oh, wow. Check that out. Eight of Cups in the same position for both of them. The Five of Wands. And the Hierophant. All right. Well, so what I'm hearing loudly from my guides is that the divine feminine certainly has been holding out for her 10 of cups, her emotional fulfillment. And she has had some conflict about it. For some of you, this is uh, for some of you that have been contemplating walking away. This has brought you um, into like, you've been conflicted about this, but at the end of the day, you're getting the Hierophant come in here going like, Oh no, they're both getting the Hierophant. And it's like your spiritual path is going to keep you where you're supposed to be. You might try to avoid your spiritual path, but it's going to bring you back. And out comes the two of swords and the ace of pentacles. So there it is. It's like, you're not going anywhere, Divine Feminine. There is a spiritual new beginning coming here with the Divine Masculine. And um, I did put a post up yesterday, but I've since taken it down. But it was interesting because I posted about the movie Serendipity. And um, it's a spoiler alert for those of you that um, haven't seen it. So you might want to block your ears for the next 10 seconds. But ultimately, Kate Beckendale, Beckendale's, Beckend, is it Beckendale? Okay, whatever. Kate, the actress, her character Sarah, she experienced this in the movie. Um, so it's coming in here for a reason. <laughs> in fact, I'm going to see here what Eight of Cups is going on for the Divine Masculine. Going for the Two of Cups. Like I said, moving from the Eight to the Ten. And here's the Two. Eight plus Two equals Ten. So this is making it real. This is making it tangible. This is a partnership that is um, magical, that is, that is equal, that is mutual, that is very loving. So he's moving on. All right, I'm going to pull a guidance card for those of you not heading over to the extended, but I'm going to get a lot more guidance over in the extended reading. Um, the link is down below. So let's get the overall guidance for the Divine Masculine for this week. This one wants to come out. Don't let pride get in your way. The full moon in Leo. So this is about doing whatever it takes and making a fool of yourself if you have to to communicate your truth, Divine Masculine. Don't let pride stop you from bringing forward your cup. And let's get the guidance for the Divine Feminine. Well, this one wants to come out. Believe in the impossible. So the, the major, more of you, I feel like, are, are already believing in the impossible here. However, um, for those of you that were conflicted about walking away, Spirit's like, uh-uh. Stay on track, Divine Feminines. That is the role of the Divine Feminine at this time, is to not fall off track and not give up. So with that, guys, I hope that was helpful. The link for the extended is down below, and I will see you next time. Until then, much love. Bye.